Okay, so we're back in more Harold Halibut. Um, quick update. This is going to be really weird for me because I still don't have my glasses fixed. They're going to be fixed on Friday, which is like five days away at the time of recording. So I'm still using a guide and uh, and also I spent the last three days in VRChat doing a fundraiser. So, so it's uh, it's it feels like it's been a while, but it, it kind of hasn't at the same time. And what time do you call this? Uh, good morning, Professor. The time is... I know what the time is. There's lots to be done. How are we going to find out who the light keepers are? I'm just as curious as you, Harold, but we have better things to do. I suppose you're right. How can I help? You can start by taking the rock to Bridget. She'll make the necessary preparations for analysis, which you should be able to handle. Okay, great. I'll get right on it. And Harold? Try to remember that whoever the Light Keepers are, our jobs here are to make life more stable for the people here, not less. I know. I know. I'll get going. What guy? You mean to the first thing in the morning? Alright, so... We want to... I'm just skipping all the side questy trophies and stuff. Okay, so... Go to Bridget at the Energy District. You got him. Uh, this way. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us. Contaminant detected. Hi, Bridget. Are you ready to rock, Harold? I have it here. Ready with rock. Oh, Harold, you can be such a killjoy sometimes. Anyway, it's going to take a while to analyze this little guy, so I'll send for you when it's ready. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, Bridget. Oh, Harold, while you're here, maybe you could help me with a little something? Uh, maybe, but don't you think? Now, now, you'll do quite well. There's a little experiment I've been wanting to run. The remote control of the conveyors isn't working right now. My theory is Cyrus and his mugs of tea that he always forgets about before knocking over. So I need your help to manually control them can do. I'll be in here recording and analyzing the data. Right, see that button over there? The big one next to the conveyor starts and stops them. I think I can handle that. Yes, well, don't get cocky. I'll give you more detailed instructions of the loudspeakers as we go along. Okay. Okay, so, there are three different types of organisms on the conveyor. Each is a different color. Are they pretty? See, don't I make life easy for you? But I want you to focus on the red ones for now, since we're comparing their data to past readings. Red ones. I got it. I'd be worried if you didn't. Anyway, pop them under the green machine next to you and stop the conveyor, please. Nice one. Now, on to the next step. Now, you see the analysis machine? Go start it up. The machine's UI is pretty easy. There are just two buttons. One to chop the sample, and one to coat it in our lovely space bacteria mix. Chop and coat. I see. Right. I'll be prepping the actual data recording in the meantime. I'll let you know exactly when to start the process. Wait for my command. Just like comedy, timing is everything here. True. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Oops. Harold, how much smaller are you intending to chop it? Now Maybe. coat it. Maybe one small. No. <laughs> nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, we need two more readings to have a representative data set. Easy.
Okay, great. On to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Piece of cake. Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Just the one left now. What if she's just like messing with Harold? Like none of this matters. She's just doing it to screw with him. Nice one. Now on to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Nice one, Harold. That's everything we need. Meet me back at the control room and we can look over the results together. Hey, Alex. Happy Sunday to you, too. These results... It looks like our catalytic bacteria is starting to have diminishing returns on the energy output. That's not good, right? No, but it also doesn't make much sense. Why would the bacteria have been fine until now? I'm not the best person to ask. What could have changed? I'm not sure. I've run the tests. The key variables, pH level, density, etc., are all stable on the bacteria. We're using the same organic matter for it to convert. And I've been double-checking the filters. They're filtering at the same levels as always. I mean, could something outside the ship be to blame? It is possible that somehow the organic matter is being affected before it hits the filters. But none of the tests we've run on the matter itself shows any key variance. Hmm, strange. Are the energy returns diminishing very badly? I'm not panicking yet, Harold. It's just a trend we can't let continue indefinitely. Unless we can miraculously find a whole new system for producing energy. Not panicking at all. Oh. Oh dear. I should get back to Moreau, but just let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I'll keep you posted, Harold. And thanks. That must be so much stress. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. You're missing my crocodile. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I got distracted. <laughs> Hi, Looney. How you doing? Let's save the crocodile for VR, shall we? <laughs> Please halt for your I guess I'm going back to the lab. Yeah. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all the How are you doing, Looney? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh yeah, the pictures. Messages. Harold, the filter station needs to do the clock again. Please unclog it properly. Don't put graffiti on the wall. It's an eyesore. Please clean it. Okay. Remember how to clean the filter now. Weeks. Three weeks no work. Wow. That's so good. I'm okay. I'm okay. Maybe it's downstairs. got some stuff on my mind, but I'm, f I'm fine. Just got some things I need to figure out, but... Ooh, technical, but there's no rush. Okay, yeah, well... This is the filter, right? I'm glad you're doing well, Louie. You got any plans for the holiday? Oh, 
I don't know what I'm doing with this. Press cleaning, buttons. Fixing, cleaning, fixing, running around, Leaping. touching stuff, doing stuff. It could be worse, but there must be more. More to life. Mm. Cleaning, fixing, running all around. Wait, what's that sound? Isn't there more to life? Oh. I clean and I fix till my legs feel like bricks. My best friend is a mop. I work till I drop. And for what? No medals or treats. I don't get silk sheets, but oh, I'm the first guy they call for a leak. There must be more to life. I could be an artist, my name would be fetid, or a chef whose every dish was celebrated. But maybe this is my destiny, trouble and strife. And perhaps that's okay. At the end of the day, what more could there be to life? Feel so bad for him. I really enjoying it, but oh, sorry, Harold. Ah, hey, yeah, hey, Tommy. Sorry, you startled me. I'm a bit startled myself. What brings you to the filter station? Just, you know, I should probably be going. But you just got here. Anything I can help you with? I. I was just looking for Filter Frankie, but I guess he's not around. That guy can be slipperier than a jelly deal. Yeah, I've never even met him. Righto, I'll be going now. See you, Harold. Oh, okay. Bye, Tommy. Hmm. What's Tommy doing down here? Really? They use like real puppets and clay. So this whole game, the character models, the environments, was all handcrafted and then 3D, scan, 3D scanned into printer. They did use mocap for the, the animations, like the, the body movements and stuff, but, uh, but they are puppets um, walking around these, these, these uh, handcrafted environments and it's super pretty. Hey Zeta, how you doing? Really pretty game. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. I think it took 10 years of development, I think, did this game. Oh, this is the washroom, right? Yeah. What have you been up to, Zito? Oh, right, I wanted to go left. I'm looking for the uh guess it's not here. Okay. Let's see. Our sample has been prepared and is ready for analysis. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh, do do I need to go back to Bridget? I guess I need to go back to Bridget. Okay. Yeah, his little drawings are so good. It, it's such a, a nice little way to demonstrate how he feels and thinks about, you know, the things around him that are happening to him. It's very precious. It doesn't seem like he really has anyone to kind of, like, confide in much, you know? So, yeah. Location nominated. It's a lovely game. All water thanking you. I've been drawing a lot, but it's all content I can't show off. Ah. Well, no worries. No worries, Zito. Best Thank of luck with it. With all water. No contaminants detected. Oh. 
Hey, Bridget. Oh, hey, Harold. Done with the sample already? Hmm? I'm here for the sample. You silly goose. I messaged you saying I sent it to the sample shelf. Oh, sorry. I missed it somehow. That is what the conveyor system is for. To save us from running all over the place the whole time. I know. I guess I just... Did you really think I'd make you come all the way back here to pick it up? No. Yeah. I mean, I probably... It'd be madness. People running around, fetching stuff by hand. None of us would get anything done. Yeah, my bad. I'll go get it from the shelf. Although, while you're here... Thanks, Bridget. Sorry to bother you. Bye. Um. <laughs> I don't blame him for that one, though. <laughs> don't blame him for that at all. <laughs> <laughs> that was deserved, yeah. Definitely. All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. So I need to do this. Let's take a look what all the fuss is about. Hmm. Oh, yes. I see. Very big marks. A dense rockiness. Troubling, uh, strata. Implications huge for origin of it. Possible comet fragment. Judging by the composition, could have been from far away. Mm hmm That is... Ah! Professor, you scared me. This is... We've been thinking all along about... This data suggests... Hmm. But... Huh, that would contradict... Hmm. The potential implications... What is it, Professor? It's these readouts. I think I know what they mean. Oh. What have they told you? The rock strata. Looks like carbonaceous chondrite. Rare? But the aminos? Pactating. It's a countdown. Great. For what? Our relaunch window. The sample finally reveals a pattern. And it means there's a two-year gap between the otherwise constant solar windstorms. We're approaching that window. Fast. And if we miss it? We wait. For 80 years. Most of us won't get to see the next one. Wow. So can you work out how long we have? If my calculations are correct, we're fast approaching the end of the current two-year calm period. In fact, I make it exactly 89 days we have left. Do you think we'll make it? Hmm. Not unless we find a miraculous source of energy to properly power the ship. I doubt it. I need to double-check some of this data urgently. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, Professor. I'll leave you be. Hmm. Um, yeah, he has. He was. He was just mucking about. <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> Message. Tub hopper. Wait, is that telling me to go to bed? Is that is that what the icon the cursor was? No, 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 we're gonna go to the arcades. Oh, 
Water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. Hey, Felix. I'm here. What's with the secret... Shh. Wait. I can't tell you anything with all these people around. Uh, okay. We have to wait until everyone leaves? Yes, that's the deal. Okay. Well, I wish I'd known. I would have brought a book or something. What are you reading? Oh, just the latest in the Fedora 4 series. Is that the beast from below? Oh, no. It's Persephone's Lament. Oh, I thought the beast from below was the latest one. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, look. Is that Cherry Bafflesop? Who's that? Come on, you don't know Cherry Bafflesop? The food critic from The Chronicle? I'm a kid, I don't read newspapers. Well, the cartoons, obviously. And I quite like the Agony On column, actually. I think that might be Cherry, too. Oh. So, do you ever think it's strange? All these people, all their own homes, lives, thoughts? Maybe they don't even know we exist. Well, I mean... They can see us. Yes, but that's not always the same thing, is it? Oh, I suppose not. So, how's school? Why? Did Mr. Tenenbaum ask you to spy on me? Chris? No. I was only wondering. School's school. I try to concentrate, but it just seems... pointless. I mean, what do you need to learn to do what my dad does? And I'm sure they're not teaching us about what my mom does. But... You need to just learn in general. You can't just know what you need to learn yet. Huh. I just feel like I learn more by exploring myself. Well, can't you do both? You can always explore, but you can't always get someone like Chris, I mean, Mr. Tinnebaum, spending all day helping you learn. Huh. I suppose it would be cool to know everything. Please remember, the all-water tube system will okay, surely it's be time. closing for the night. I hope it's worth the wait. Get snug, oh, it not is. stranded. Coast is clear. Follow me. This, my friend, is the Tunnel of Secrets. It looks like a ventilation shaft? A small, dark one. Sure, that's what they want you to think. Come on! Tunnel of Secrets. What she said. <laughs> it's pretty cozy in here. Just follow me. And trust me. So you promise you won't tell anyone about this? Promise? I mean, who would I tell? Moreau? She'd just say I'm making up tall tales again. Well, I think you'd better tell me a secret anyway, just so we're even. Um, okay. I guess that's only fair. Well, one time I dropped something into one of the filters, so I had to... Wow, you. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that'll do. We all have one guy still act like you don't. <laughs> Felix, come on. Can't you tell me where we're headed? Good things come to those who wait. Tunnel of secret. Morning, Fox. So, how, how well do you know these tunnels, Felix? We're not lost, are we? Okay, trust me, I've been exploring these for ages now. Whenever my parents are away, or, yeah, I mean, quiet space. There's so much of the station people don't know about. I mean, could they even fit? <laughs> Probably not. And I'm glad they don't try. They can't be that bad. Oh, they're fine. Just so busy. Always. And they let me get away with a lot. You could try not getting into trouble in the first place. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're a goody two-shoes. <laughs> I doubt the professor would think I am. She's not your mama, right? Nope. But she's been kind of like one. Hmm, so what about your... Are you sure we're not lost? Not long now, don't worry. My father was eaten by sharks. 
Yeah, it does have quite a Wes Anderson vibe to it, doesn't it? It's very charming and I don't, think, I don't know if subversive, I don't think that's quite the right word, but it's, it's extremely charming and, uh, you know, witty. Yeah, I like it a lot. This could be a world in VR chat. Oh. I know, right? I've never looked at it this way before. We only had the same stuff to look at, mostly. Gotta try find new angles. Huh. Did you read that somewhere? No, I don't think so anyway. Here. Uh, not for me, thanks. And not for you. Relax, it's just gum. Smoking <laughs> is a dumb adult thing anyway. Oh. Okay. I'll take one. Thanks. They call him the Scout. A man who dared to go where others wouldn't or couldn't. He wasn't one for the limelight, but he was good at his job. He mapped out new lands. The light keepers made him an offer. Work for us, they said. A lesser man would have taken the money. But the Scout works best alone. He can't be bought. Only the scout sees things for what they really are. Looks to the watery horizon while everyone else stares at their shoes. If only they understood. The scout is a legend. We've been trying to track him down for years. If anyone can find him, it's you, Agent Harrelson. So... What do you think is going to happen, now that Earth is okay? Everyone wants to go back, but... Yeah, it'll take a while, right? Too long. Let's move on. No, Robin, we've not met the fish yet. <laughs> Clearly Robin just wants some of that flounder action. <laughs> yeah, how you doing, Mika? How you doing, Robin? Super charming game. I like playing story games on stream, getting invested in the characters and, and everything. Oh god, Harold, my four-year-old okay? back. Oh, I think so. But everything is going cold. Ah, you probably land in a condensation puddle. Where am I? How do I get out of here, Felix? I I'm not sure, but good luck and we'll meet up later. I don't let anyone see you. We can't blow our cover. Okay, Felix. You take care now. Ha, says the man who dived into a shallow puddle. See ya. <laughs> Got abandoned. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> How you doing, Robin? Welcome, welcome in, Mika. Oh no, it's the president's office, isn't it? Yes, yes, four hundred percent. And let me circle back to you on the. Oh, Slipmire, please do sit down and come in. Ah, uh, Madam CEO, have I got news for you? I should certainly hope so. Time is money, and I can't spend time on empty chatter. Is so perilous a palpable public perception problem. Well, now you've had a chance to test my new super chill air con system. Have you given my start procedure idea any more thought? Surely you don't want to rely entirely on Cyrus. Yes, about that. I can still hear those blasted mice in the vents. So it can't be that cold and therefore not that efficient. If the system can't scare some mice, how's it going to form the basis of a relaunch? Hmm, I don't want to presume, but did you turn it up to max? Yes, up to 10. Ah, I thought so. You see, this one goes to 11. Well, why wouldn't you just make 10? <sighs> Whatever. Will you do the honors? Of course. You just gotta click the dial past the little bit of resistance. Like so. Give it a few minutes to kick in, and those mice will be micicles! Good. 
Perhaps you should work on a prototype. We're going to treat people to a little public demonstration in ten days. Get the public buy-in, perhaps even a vote. Hmm, it seems like there's hope for your aircon yet. Those mice are feeling the chill. Yes, I think, I mean, I'd love another day or two to tweak the cooling coefficient. No extra days. This has already gone on long enough. We need to be seen to act. You know me, I'm all about moving fast. But not too fast. We can't cut corners on this. The stakes are too high. <laughs> I'll keep it on the straight and narrow. But if you can, find a way to speed <laughs> it up. Say no more, Madam CEO. Just wait until that demonstration. You'll see. I'm half surprised she didn't say it. Don't make me wait too long. <laughs> now about those all water co-branded mittens we discussed. I can't stay in here any longer. I'll, I'll become a herald sickle. <laughs> You've got a bit of a hangover. Oh, I'm sorry, Robin. Oh my god. Is this the bathroom? I guess the aircon really is efficient around here. What a day. Time for bed. <laughs> the old man yaoi we deserve. I wonder, can we like... No. <laughs> Just curious if there's something we could do. Alright, let's go to bed. That was why. Harold, where have you been? Sorry, excuse me. Come on, let's get some tea in you. Thanks, Professor. That does sound nice. It does sound nice. I bought an energy drink today, but it tastes awful. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Puddington. Oh, pudding. <laughs> so, where have you been? And don't say you got stuck in the filter pipes again. Uh, no, well, there was a puddle, but... It's okay. You're here now. That's the important thing. <laughs> oh, dear. Do have some tea. It makes everything better. Ah, uh, yes, I think I will. Ah, warm. You Beacon need to pines. remember to look after yourself. A stitch in time saves nine. I do. I just... This was, um, extraneous circumstances. Extenuating circumstances? What exactly have you been up to? Well, it's hard to explain, but I was with Felix. He showed me the vents. They were nice. But then I fell through a grate next to the CEO's office. From what I could overhear, I think something pretty serious is going on between Slippy and Mrs. Castlechop. Slippy? I hardly think he's her type. <laughs> no, 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 not, not romantically. It sounded like Slippy was working on his own relaunch procedure. What? That would be most vexing. Why Thank would you for the Castlechop have told us about this? I don't know. Maybe Slippy himself wants to keep it secret for some reason. Well, I don't have much hope that Slippy would solve the problem, but it could be disastrous if he convinced the CEO that he could. I wonder whether those light keepers are aware of this. It seems probable. What I can't deduce yet is what their agenda is. Yeah. Things have been crazy, though, with them, all the all-water news, the rock, now this. Yes, very irregular. Not at all fitting with the usual models. Perhaps it's all connected somehow. Oh, could be. Did Slippy or the CEO say anything about what the procedure would be? Not really. All I could tell is that it somehow involved Slippy's patented aircon system. Intriguing. Well, if this baffling pattern keeps up, I'm sure we'll find some new perplexing puzzle pieces soon. I'll keep my ears to the ground. Yes, you do that. Just watch out for puddles. Huh. I'll do my best. Well, 
Let's sleep on it. You look like you could use some. Sounds good, Professor. Good you. Good night. We're in the night, rock, Harold. Johnson. <laughs> and don't catch a cold, please. I'll See if I can do anything to night. stop that. <laughs> I'm to sleep. I guess she sleeps up there then. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for the follow pudding. Thank you. Well, that was not how I imagined today to go. Hopefully tomorrow will be nice and normal again. No surprises. No excitement. Just good old routine. Achoo! Uh, that darn air con. Got you. Uh, I better not wake up with the cold. Doesn't even get a blanket, man. Feels bad. Ninety days left until the launch window closes. Eighty-nine days left. Uh, what's that? Oh, that darn alarm waking me up from my swim and dreamies. Maybe it's just a test. Uh, seems like something is up. Better go check the lab console and see nothing has exploded. I've been in VR chat so much past few days that I've started to have dreams about being in VR chat. <laughs> Surprise? There seems to be something wrong with the filter station again. This thing loves getting me out of bed. Did the link with ghost dream of <laughs> Unfortunately no. Unfortunately no Robin. Which basically means I haven't spent enough time in VR chat. <laughs> Look what you've done, Robin. <laughs> Look what you've done.
It was lovely, that. I was super, like, otherworldly and just... Was that, I, I, that was a really nice is moment. Okay? It is breathing. We should be hesitant to ascribe deterministic gender terms to fishy here. Their race may not even have gender, biologically or culturally. Oh, sorry, yes. Sorry, fishy. It just feels unfair saying it. Perhaps when Fishy wakes up, we'll be able to exchange theories about the formation of gender identity and its sociological impact. No doubt it'd give us some fascinating insights into the anthropological and biological imperatives of their society. But is... are they gonna be okay? Let me see... Essential life signs seem stable. Surface moisture looks acceptable. Keep an eye on them. If they look to be drying out, give them a spritz. And what do we do next? Just let me think for a minute. Should I go get more help? Let's not be hasty about telling anyone else yet. There are all kinds of ways someone, namely Allwater, could get this all so very wrong. Makes sense. There would be so many questions. You'd never be able to concentrate. Exactly. All those things will get in the way of us taking good care of this. Yes. Yes, and when they wake up, it's all going to feel pretty scary. We'll do what we can do. We just need to keep them safe until I can finish conducting the tests. I mean, you know, health tests. What mm. about keeping them secret in the storage room? I could keep the boxes in my room. Hmm. Yes. Proximity to the lab. Humid environment. No other access. Yes, that should be suitable. Good idea. Let's move them in there. Gosh. I'm no expert, but they look really poorly. Don't worry, Harold. You did well to bring them to me promptly. They're in the right hands. Now, let me concentrate. Okay, I'll get to clearing up the storage room. Oh, we're gonna help our fish friend. But before we do, let's have a quick look at the pictures in here. There's us having tea. There's us... What is that? On the left. Don't know what that is. The one on the right is them as <laughs> detective and spy or something. 